Tip number 72. Name schematic pages by short and clear names. Here is an example. This is one of our projects called OpenLex. And here you can see all the pages in this project. And you can see the examples how we call them. Now, maybe some people think like, what? What is this tip about? Why we are speaking about this? We are speaking about this because you are going to use this a lot. Maybe you don't realize this, but uh, when you will be creating schematic, when you will be drawing schematic, you need to switch between the schematic pages quite often. And uh, to be able to immediately see where specific connectors or specific interfaces are located and just clicking on the page, you can save quite a lot of time. It, it makes you feel, uh, you know, like uh, much better. Working with your schematic is much better if you can quickly find what you are looking for. And uh, this here is useful not only when you are working on the schematic, it is useful even once the project is finished. Again, you may not realize how often you use this list. When someone asks you a question and you need to go into your project and find a specific connector, find a specific interface to be able to answer the question. I remember some uh, schematics with, uh, with really kind of weird uh, schematic page names or with some uh, very unuseful page names like CPU1, CPU2, CPU3. You can do it, it's really up to you. But I can tell you it's much more useful if you say CPU, HDMI, LVDS. You know what this means? It means on this page there is HDMI block an LVDS block of the processor. Even you know this, you were not creating this schematic, but when you read this page name, you immediately know what is on the page. What do you think? What is on this page? Yeah, you can read SD card, SPI, flash, EEPROM. Yeah, SD card, EEPROM, SPI. Immediately. You can see what is on the page. You can find it very quickly. When you are uh, creating uh, pages with power supplies, you may want to put there also the voltages. So this is what we do. Yeah, here is an example. So this is a page with power supply for 1.375 volt and uh, also with the regulator for 3.3 volt. Yeah, you can see it here. Again, it may look, it's, uh, it's a small tip, but it's very useful. And uh, I almost forgot, uh, these pages, sometimes they are used, they, these pages are used in the PDF. So when you print schematic into PDF, you can find them here as bookmarks. In the PDF, I don't use it a lot. Usually in PDF, I use this uh, cover page and find the specific peripheral, but maybe some people, they use the bookmarks. Tip number 72, name schematic pages by short and clear names. Why? You will quickly find the page which you would like to open.